section 406, um, the um, 1968 Civil Rights Act, state jurisdiction acquired pursuant to this title with respect to criminal offenses of civil causes of action or with respect to both shall be applicable in Indian country shall be applicable in Indian country I'm going to read that three times shall be applicable in Indian country only where <clears throat> the enrolled Indians within this within the affected area of such Indian country um, accept such jurisdictions by a majority vote of the adult Indians voting at a special election held for the per for that purpose only for that purpose the secretary of the interior shall call such special election under such rules and regulations as he may prescribe when requested to do so by the tribal council or by governing body or by 20% of such enrolled adults section 601 notwithstanding employment of legal counsel um, further up it says offenses within Indian country um, 501 amendment section 1153 of the United States um, section 601 notwithstanding any other provision of law in any applic application made by an Indian Indian tribe Indian council or any band or, or group of Indians under any law requiring the approval of the Secretary of the Interior of the Commission or the Commissioner of Indian Affairs or of contracts or agreements relating to the employment of legal counsel, including the choice of, of counsel and fixing of fees by any such Indians, tribe, council, band, or group is neither granted nor denied within within 90 days following the making of such application such approval shall be deemed to have been granted all right section 701 materials relating to constitutional rights of indians all right secretary of the interior to prepare section 701a in order that the constitutional rights of indians might be fully protected the secretary of the interior is authorized and directed to number one have the document entitled indian affairs laws and treaties senate document numbered 319 volumes one and two 58 congress revised and extended to include all treaties laws executive orders and regulations relating to indian affairs in force on september 1st 1967 and and to have such revised document printed at the government printing office have revised and republished the treaties entitled federal indian law and number three have prepared to the extent determined by the secretary of the interior to be feasible and accurate compilation of the official opinions published and unpublished of the solicitor of the department of the interior to indian affairs rendered to by the solicitor prior to september 1st 1967 and to have such compilation printed as a government publication at the government printing office b with respect to the documents entitled indian affairs laws and treaties as revised and extended in accordance with paragraph one of subsection a and the compilation prepared in accordance with paragraph three of subsection um, the secretary of the in interior shall take such action as may be necessary to keep such document and compilate compilation current on the annual basis there is authorized to be appropriated for carrying out the provisions of this title such sum as may be necessary now as i read down further here it talks about the attorney general and the attorney general um being able to direct us to the proper united states district court or them doing it on our, on our behalf 
um, in respect to unfair housing prom practices, discrimination against nationals and what have you. Now it goes down to explain what the definitions of these words are person. And as I look here, I notice there's two different definitions for person. There's a D definition person with a capital P, which is a corporation, includes individuals, corporations, partnerships, associations, labor organizations, legal representatives, mutual companies, joint stock companies, trust, 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 unincorporated organizations, trustees, trustees in cases under Title 11 of the United States Code, receivers and fiduciaries. However, when you go down and you look under the word handicap, handicap means under H, with respect to a person. This person has a small P. Those of us more as Ears Indians now are in our proper person. Small P. P as in pot. <laughs> um, which is a physical or mental impairment which sustainably limits one or more of such person's major life activities. Number two, a record of having such an impairment. Or three, being regarded, regarded as having such an impairment but such does terms does not include current illegal use of it or addiction to control substances um, in section 102 of the Controlled Substances Act 21 USC 802. A grief person, here's another uh, person, small p, includes any person who claims to have been injured by a discriminatory housing practice or believes that such person, small p again, will be injured by discriminatory housing practices, which we all were discriminated in the, by discriminatory housing practices as per our nationality as Indians and Moors people. Oh boy. All right. Um, number two, uh, number three, complainant um, means a person including the secretary who files a complaint under section 810. And then it goes on to talk about familial status. Now, a lot of you out there who do not overstand, I'm not going to use the word understand here, not overstand what Noble Jurali was trying to tell you as a Cherokee Indian. Go and do the history on Noble Jurali's status. He was listed as a Cherokee Indian. That's what Copper Aborigines is trying to explain to all of us out here. Please, dear God, go and pick up a book and read and stop putting stuff in the comment section with no loss to back up what you're saying. If you have a law, Post it in the comment section. We will research it and make it public. But somebody's opinion and somebody's idea of what we are does not stand up in law. And when we were told that we we're not Indians, notice there was no law to back that up. Look at the, the show Bonanza. Go back and watch those old time Western videos. It was the Indians versus the Europeans. See, and we were, were the original Indians. Go and look at the photos. Go and listen to us here, the Duke of Tears. Go and look at the old pictures of us in our Indian garb. Okay? Those of you who have gotten your assignments from us here, who are part now of our online tutor school, those of you who'd like to join, click on the About page in the description below. Um, we'll put the link in there. You can send us 20 notes, and we'll start sending you the assignments, which encompasses things like this to go and research for yourself to correct your status properly, okay? Our school is online learning. Um, it's about us gaining the su successes that we require um, to remedy matters properly. All right, like, share, subscribe, you guys. Thank you for sharing this with me today. Thank you, Copper Aborigines. You can email us here, you guys, at themullings at gmail.com. Ah, man, this feels so great. All right, attention all international authorities, correct your status globally. Um, put it on the record by noble, honorable Angelina D. Alpha at L. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter. And just do it for all heirs, Indians, globally. All right? Thank you and have yourselves a great day.